It's a long pondered question. Are we really alone in the universe? You know, there have been recent reports of encounters and sightings of UFOs giving timely thought about proof of extraterrestrial life. Giorgio Sugaklos is one of the foremost ancient astronaut experts in the world. He continues his exploration of aliens and signs of alien visitation on the History Channel in Ancient Aliens. Giorgio, welcome, sir. Good to have you here. How you doing? Pleasure to be here. Uh, it's a very uh, timely and, and earthly uh, interview. I have to ask you, sir, what do you make of all these recent UFO sightings? And we were talking about this right before the interview. We're a big Navy state here in Maryland. The Navy pilots, they have been seeing some things. That video has come out. This is amazing. Yeah, I think that uh, in December of 2017, we've experienced as a society a paradigm shift because it's the first time that the U.S. government has come forward and not only admitted uh, UFO research, but also supplied video clips. Mm -hmm. Video clips are absolutely insane and wonderful. And uh, just by the reaction of those fighter pilots, uh, they were quite excited to, uh, to witness what was going on. I mean, it was amazing to hear that their, their voice and then see that UFO pull away from a military jet. You know they have some speed. Uh, what do you make, uh, and, and what signs have, have you discovered that, that suggest the, the Earth has been visited by extraterrestrial life? Well, my personal opinion is that all these ancient mythologies and legends that we have of the quote-unquote gods with a lowercase g descending from the sky, that they aren't necessarily just a figment of our ancestors' imagination, but that perhaps our ancestors actually witnessed something. Because it's not us ancient astronaut theorists who are proposing these ideas, it's our ancestors telling us someone came from the sky. So what if they were our first teachers? And by the way, those Navy pilots, one of them is on record saying, I can't wait to fly one of those things. Oh, I, I, it gives me a little bit of a chill. I mean, I guess the bottom line is many of us feel there's something out there. These ancient people, they wouldn't even been confused by, you know, maybe, oh, maybe it was a different kind of jet from a different country or something like that. That wouldn't even have been a question back in those ancient times. So give us another thought on that. And also, how do you think this has impacted the world in general? Well, the idea of the ancient astronaut theory is basically it's observing or exploring cargo cult behavior. And cargo cult behavior is an accepted term in anthropology and ethnology where if a, if a uh, technologically advanced society comes in contact with a technologically primitive society, then the technologically primitive society starts to worship the technologically advanced society. Uh. This has nothing to do with intellect. It has everything to do with the technological frame of reference. So if someone 5,000 years ago descended from the sky, those people automatically have achieved godlike status, even though they were people like you and me. And, uh, you know, here we are. Uh, it, it, it's just an amazing topic and one that will continue to, I think, blow our minds. Uh, we know we'll be seeing you on the upcoming season of Ancient Aliens. Giorgio, thank you so much here for being here on Midday Maryland, sir, shedding a little light on this amazing topic. Thank you, and I appreciate everyone for tuning in.